Aaron Rodgers jersey. The authentic one is retail for 160. Rodgers right there, step on the back. Think about scooping these up. If you guys want to see the results, make sure you guys follow Bobby Thur. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another video here in Hollywood, California. About to go check out this sneaker boutique, Drip LA. A lot of dope stuff here. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to visit BoscoGoodies.com. New releases, some older releases, but all in all, some dope shoes. Like, for example, a lot of people are feeling this colorway. It's that bad bunny right here. They got a size 10 in hand. I think they got other sizes left. Triple black. I think I like this one a little bit more. Got the eye on the back there. 350s on deck. This one's not too bad. 350s are still pretty dope in my opinion. I got a few different colorways too up from 350s. This colorway is not too bad on this Yeezy. What do you guys think about these? Not really a fan of this one, but I think there are some colorways in this silhouette that looks dope. They do have the new Crazy 8s. We've seen these at uh, another store like Chic. 140 on retail for that. They got the Team Orange colorway here. Normally 140 down to 30 or 30% 30 off on these. You don't really find these in too many places on sale right now. This is definitely one of the better colorways of the Crazy 8s. Then uh, if, <laughs> if you guys are feeling froggy, I don't know what size this is right here. What size is this? Size eight in hand, but they got the Jordan 13 Flints. Normally $200, they got these with 20% off. Not many places still have men's sizes left of the Jordan 8 playoffs. Definitely one of the classic colorways for sure. I think these are one of my favorites from my childhood for sure. I didn't coop, I didn't scoop them because the size 13 went pretty quickly. I hesitated for sure. This colorway and the white and gray colorway, which is like the hair colorway, super fire. Cardinal 7s here with 20% off, 168 right there. Then we got the Jordan 2 Lows, which we've seen a few different places, but this is like I thought was women's exclusive, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Triple material, suede, corduroy, and leather. Leather quality on these are definitely on point. More retros on sale too. Jordan 8, are these the Afro Beats? Is that what these are called? I believe so, Jordan 7s. Good quality on those. You got 30% off on those. They still have some of the Palomino Jordan 3s. A few sizes left, or at least 11 and a half in hand. 11 and a half in my hand. Jordan 11 low IEs. This is one that you don't really see too many places. This discount at 120 on that. That's pretty dope. That's actually really nice. 120 is the lowest I've seen it before. Got the newest IE also. This one is kind of slept on. I like the canvas material, but you know, IEs are very so much an acquired taste. That's probably why people don't really jump on them, but those are definitely not bad and they are comfortable. I do have a pair or two of the I8s or the IEs. Then we got the Jordan 8s right here. Give me the ACG vibes. I say it all the time. 168 after the discount, which is definitely fire. This is a, sleep, a slept on colorway of the Jordan 7. So they got three, one, two, three pair of Jordan 7s here, which is cool. You don't really see too many places with that many Jordan 7s for all you guys out there that like Jordan 7s. Jordan 2 Black Cement, definitely a classic colorway right here. Still full retail, but it's definitely worth it. Materials on this is on point, and this is this colorway is dope. Definitely one of the best Jordan 2s out there. You guys know what my Jordan 2 low favorite, but as far as Jordan 2s, it's got to be this one or the Chicago. They also have the Jordan 5 Georgetown, man. I remember when these first was rumored. was curious to see what these look like. They look even better in person. I like how that white pops off the navy blue. These crafts right here was kind of slept on for sure. Maybe the patent leather on there threw people off, but I like this colorway. Jordan 3 Rent-A-Rise. This is definitely one that I feel like got away from me. And maybe now it might be a better time to try to scoop them up because, you know, prices are down for shoes. But these are definitely on point. Maybe these are the Afro beats. I get confused between these two. I feel like they're in the same pack. They got the same print, just different colorways. These are 40% off. Which Jordan 7 do you guys like more? Both of them are heavily discounted though, which is dope. Jordan 2 was solid also, 30% off on the retail, so it's 157. Definitely a clean colorway for this Jordan 2 Low. Jordan 2 Low UNC. What do you guys think about these? Must have been passed on or slept on, because those are definitely clean right there, bro. As you see, man, there's a lot more to go down. A lot of dope stuff here at Drip LA. Then we got these right here, which we picked up for the team. 40% off on the Kraft Jordan 1, man. The quality on this one is definitely top tier. I don't know why people slept on it. Maybe it's just a bad timing for the shoe, but it's 40% off down to 108. 108 on the retail for this. That's super dope right there, man. 
We've definitely seen these mids before in store. They even got the Jordan Airship, the corporate Jordan Airship collab. This colorway is pretty dope too, still full retail. Definitely worth it. Then we got another Comfort. I'm forgetting if I remember seeing this colorway. More than likely I have the black, white, and gray colorway. Got the design on the tongue right there. Remind me of the Jordan 7s. One of the rare locations that still have these on deck, man. These are clean. What size is this one in hand? 14 left on these. Damn, I wish it was a 13. They still have the uh, Jordan Lowe's, OGs. A lot of dope stuff here, bro. Or the AJK Olo bread colorway. This is definitely a dope one, too. Seen these at the outlets, but in bigger sizes. They got more regular sizes here. Some Air Force Ones, different type of Air Force Ones, different colorways, too. These are not too bad. Let me know if you guys are feeling this or not. Now, you guys know me, man. I'm a foam posit head. These metallic red ones was definitely cool, too. Just the price point was a little crazy. And they don't even have a size 13 here, but they do have other sizes, as you guys can see. If you guys need help, join my membership for retail pickups you know we got a few people already who have been down with me for a minute and we got uh i know it's christmas time so you guys might need help finding silhouettes or shoes so come on out here or hit me up and i can scoop them up for you if you become a member kd3 aunt pearl man people were looking out for these for a minute definitely a classic kd to bring back shout out to the aunt pearl series for the kd sneaker let me know if you guys are a fan of these and rate these from a one to ten Dope colorway of the Air Max Plus. You got the suede all around the mud guard. Color combination is definitely not bad on these. Definitely a staple when it comes to Air Maxes in my opinion. Still have Air Max Penny One. So you got the Orlando colorway, 20% off on that. Then we saw these at Shoe Palace, but nowhere else besides here. Got a few sizes left in this too. Still full retail, very classic shoe. Got the other Penny Hardaway with the leather on here. Can never go wrong with these foam pilots, man. Foam pilots is definitely a classic shoe. Slept on, but super fire. Thoughts on this blazer low? Retail, 95 bucks. Got the all suede upper, long hair suede. Definitely some good quality. This Air Force One is definitely on point. The colorway, the materials they use, not mad at this one. Definitely perfect for this time of year. Retail for this one is 145 on the retail. Definitely can't go wrong with these, bruh. Fire. Different variation of the Air Force One, all leather with the swoosh and the gel swoosh. Are you guys a fan of this or is this like a deal breaker? I'm not really feeling that. Maybe the right colorway might look dope, but to me, I'm not really feeling these. Nike Air on the back, definitely fire. Two type of Nike Airs, you guys can see. Black and white Terror Squad, got the TS on the back. A few different colorways that dropped at the Terror Squad, but this one is probably the best one, of course. First time seeing these in hand, bro. Let me know what you guys think about these, man. The Stadium Green Air Max Penny Ones. Haven't seen this in any stores. This is the only location I've seen have this colorway in hand. Definitely a classic colorway, bro. Wow. Air Max Penny Ones are hard to mess up, man. Many colorways out there that are dope, including this one. Dunks here, both of these, I feel like it's something that would have sold out, you know, a couple years ago. Definitely a fire colorway, this one, and the polar blue. This one here has some good quality, too, on the leather right here on the upper. Are these, not, these are not even SBs. These are just regular dunks. But the leather quality on here wouldn't make you think they're SBs because normally the leather quality on dunks aren't too, aren't too, you know, aren't the best. But these are definitely fire with some good quality on them as well. Or I don't see too many stores with these also. Is this a deal breaker with the shiny material around the toe box or just the overlay? The whole overlay is a shiny orange. Not a bad colorway though. Translucent also too. Can't go wrong with these, bro. What do you guys think about this Nike Dunk Low? Materials on these are definitely clean. Kind of a fall winter vibes on these also. You can't go wrong with these though. Rate these from a one to 10. I like the quality on them for sure though. They got Pandas, they got Stadium Green Air Force Ones, Terra Squad Air Force Ones, or Stadium Green Pennies. These dunks are pretty dope too. And then they got this maroon colorway here, retail 125 on it. Quality on both of these right here are definitely on point. They definitely didn't skimp you guys with this one. You guys like this maroon colorway? Let me know your thoughts about these. Of the two colorways, man, I don't know which one I like more. I do like that dark maroon colorway. I feel like you can match it with more. But this green, oil green or whatever it's called, olive green, is definitely on point too. Or the shiny finish on this Air Force One Low, green white with the cell midsole. 
So if you guys don't see these guys in stores, you guys can hit up Drip LA. I don't recall seeing this colorway on the Air Max 1. Not a bad colorway, retail for 150. Then we got some more dunks here. Uh, the green and white ones, 30% off on those. These ones here too, some decent quality on this one, 135 on the retail. You guys can see they got some Air Max 90, some Air Max 1s, Air Max 95s here. Corduroy still on deck. This Air Max 95, 30% off, 126 after discount. Not a bad colorway. A lot of shoes here on sale, getting you ready for Black Friday and just, you know, Christmas time. This Air Max 90 is definitely a fire color combination on this one. I've definitely talked about this one before. I like this one for sure. Got the dirty denim Air Max 1s. These Air Max 1s, the penguins. I mean, this store got a lot of heat. Oh, and then we got the aqua colorway on the Air Max 1 too. I believe this is one of the more recent colorways that dropped. Definitely a fire colorway with some really good quality materials on here. These had a little buzz to them when they first dropped. Got the trees on the back of it, Air Max 90, long hair suede with some short hair suede or new buck actually, pretty clean. I think these ones are killer. These ones right here is a really nice Air Max 90. Got multi-design or multi-materials on here. Colorway is fire, what do you think? Always for the grade school and women's, their selection is always on point. A lot of the stuff we have seen before, most of the stuff we have seen before, I'm trying to scope through and see if there was anything new that we haven't seen just yet. They still got Palominos on deck for the grade school if y'all looking for those. A lot of different colorways of the Nike Dunk or Nike Air, Nike. <laughs> of the Jordan 1 Low, I can't even talk right now. Then you got... Uh, Lucky Greens, UNC Toe, still here for gray school, which is definitely clean. You can't find these in too many spots now, even though they've been popping up at the outlets, but not in gray school sizes so much. Down here, got the Jordan 5s, 20% off. Khaled's 20% off as well, Maroon 5s. Then we got these 11s here, kind of a slept on 11, 40% off on these, 135 on the retail. This one right here is one that for sure got away from me. I'm a big fan of Jordan 13s, but did not scoop this up. And then once I thought about grabbing them, size 13 was gone pretty much most places, man. It'd be like that. If you don't if you don't rush to get to the shoes, some shoes, especially for my size, I end up missing out. But it is what it is because I got enough in the arsenal already. But really nice selection here. Pink, like ash, like wash pink right here on the dunks, on the, on the well, wash pink on the Pumas. We got the Coca-Cola collab here as well on the Pumas. Definitely clean, bro. Definitely fire. And then uh, some more Puma suede here. Some that we've seen in stores, some that we haven't. The green and yellow colorway is definitely on point for these. And of course, they always got good merchandise here. These is cool. 140 on a retail for this Adidas. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Really good leather quality on this upper for sure. Look at these Converse right here. Materials on them is pretty wild. Oh, and they split down. So one design on one side, one on the other. What do you think about these Air Max ones? Haven't really seen these before. It's on the women's side here. Definitely a clean colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Not mad at this color combination with the multi-material on there too. Pink Vomero's here, definitely on point for these. Not mad at these at all. P6000's are always on point. Been seeing some more colorways that have been standing out to me. Let me know your favorite colorway of this shoe. If you guys even like it, let me know in the comments below. I feel like this is definitely an acquired taste for sure. This Air Max 95 is fire too with the different materials on it. For the women, I believe, because it's on the women's size, smaller size for sure. Let me know what you guys think about this Air Max 95. Definitely clean. Now, this colorway is something that caught my eye once I seen them talk about this online. That purple and black canvas material with the new buck on here. Small size left. Most people probably scoop these up, man. Retail on these is 125 bucks, size six in hand. So that means the other ones went pretty quickly. Definitely fire. Air Max 90 with the reptile skin. Don't recall seeing these before. Or maybe it's been a minute and I forgot, but these are definitely clean too. 
Air Force One, some really good materials on here, man. Look at that leather. Definitely some excellent leather quality on these. Size five in hand. Retail for these 150. I'm pretty sure they got more sizes left. For the women, they definitely have a great selection. So they got you covered for men, women, and children. Definitely a good spot to come through for some holiday shopping. If you guys are looking for some shoes for some people, a lot of things on sale. You got some Ultra Boost on sale for 50% off on that one. These are 40% off on those, 50% off on that one. A lot of shoes here on sale, bro. That's really dope to see, especially around this time of year. I'm a fan of these too. We've seen these before, but this colorway, this green with the velvet and suede, you can't go wrong with that. They got these here available 40% off the normal retail price. Copper pass. And these are not too bad either. Color combination is dope. Talked about these before. I'm a fan of this Air Force one. What do you guys think about these? The ladies on the ladies side definitely some more heat available you got jordan one low unc or jordan one low unc to chicago's you got the uh breads both og cuts then they still have these we didn't see them in men's sizes so the men's probably went quickly but over here for smaller sizes they still have these this is the five y on deck for this jordan one reimagine then we got uh some more of these air I'm calling everything so many other things. What's going on? Jordan 2 for the women. Got the green, white, nice outsole on these. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Definitely not familiar, not familiar with this Puma shoe, but the colorway is very eye-catching for the ladies out there watching. Let me know what you guys think about these. 120 on the retail. These Pumas are pretty dope too, with the little cat right there, the Puma cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's flipping you off. Okay, I'm not mad at these. What do you think about this colorway? Definitely a pretty dope Puma right here. Different materials on this NMD. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this one. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Got like the digital or three. These are pretty dope. I like what they did with this slide. Kind of basic, but kind of dope at the same time. All this stuff right here is dope, perfect for this time of year. Definitely a good item to grab for your girl if you're watching this and trying to find some items to buy for her. And these right here, this Dunk Low matches with this stuff right here too. The color combination is dope. Seen these in store, but now that you see them with some matching clothes, it kind of makes sense a little bit more, right? Even these cell ones, the white, black with the cell midsole, I think goes with good with, with probably this outfit right here, you know what I mean? I like how they give you guys outfits to check out for the shoe as well, you know what I mean? Layout is also dope too. Perfect, perfect color combination right here for this. The Olive Jordan 1 Low. These are pretty clean right here. A lot of people did like these out of all the, uh, I guess, craft colorways that dropped for this one. I think this is like one of the most favorite one. I like these a lot. They still have Neapolitans here for the ladies out there. If you missed, they do have some sizes left here and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the Gratitudes here available too on release day. So come on over here if you're in LA and you need a pair of those. They do have some sizes of the cherries, as well as the satin bread Jordan 1 Lowe's too. Really good selection here as always, bro. Ice cream jeans, ice cream shirt. This is pretty dope. Looks like the material's ripped off, but that's how it's made to be looked. Of course, some more dunks here that we've seen before. Oh, these pants is pretty wild, bro. These pants right here are pretty wild. And then it's also wild to see the Nike Zoom Generation purple suede, definitely fire. Look at it in this lighting, bro. You can't go wrong with these at all, man. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Get over these pants, man. These right here is just different. What brand is this? Embellish? I'm not sure how much they cost, but they definitely look pretty interesting, bro. Look at the Jordan shirts for the three-peat. That's dope, and they also got some sweats here that are pretty clean too. A lot of good drip here, that's why it's called Drip LA. These right here still in some sizes available. The Reverse Liverpool, the Big Bang, and the Washed Throne LeBrons. We got the Griffies right here, 40% off as well. Don't recall seeing this colorway of the Romero. Don't recall seeing this colorway of the Romero. What do you guys think about these? Very dope shoe, man, the Romero 5. Very clean, looks very comfortable as well. Man, it's enough said, bro. BBC galore. If you guys are looking for your BBC items, this shirt is 60 bucks, but it's dope, bro. It's kind of worth it. BBC, especially for that price point. They got all kinds of stuff, especially for this winter time right now to keep it. Wow, bro. What the hell is going on here? This is crazy, bro. Oh, man. I'm a fan. 
it's out of my range right now, 200 for it, but it's definitely fire. Definitely got you covered when it comes to stuff like this here. And then look at these shorts. Got some weight to them. Got the pins that come with it. You know, that's what they get me with. These are definitely dope, bro. They also have them in like this blue New Jer or Jersey material right here, man. These are crazy. Of course, these are designer shorts. Not really meant to hoop in, and they got some weight to them, so you probably can't really hoop in them comfortably. <sighs> Embellish. Embellish is coming through with some heat, bro. Embellish got a lot of stuff, and in this location here, section over here, is where everything is at on sale. We got the Jay-Z hoodie here, 117. This must be a Plains hoodie or something like that. That's fire. That's fire. Found my BBC sweats over here. A lot of good things. Kappa. Some Jordan stuff. More plain sweats. Definitely some heat over here. Everything's tagged off. 50% off. If you guys see something that you guys like, let me know. I'll come back and talk about it in case you guys need to know more information. Or just get over here yourself and uh, check out the stuff. But they even have Jordan shorts here on sale. Uh, more material. More merch. Biggie also. Definitely a dope selection here at Drip LA as always, bro. BBC shirts. Look at those, bro. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bro. 90 bucks on these, but 80 bucks. But these are fire, bro. I'm not just saying that. And they got the matching hat right here to go with it as well. What? So these with that is definitely on point, bro. What are y'all thinking about these? We seen these shorts here last time. These shorts are definitely dope too. Got an ice cream hat. This is fitted or snapback. It's a snapback. They're right for that, man. Making it a snapback and not a fitted was a good idea. But they do have some heat here. New Balance selection is always on point at this store, too. This colorway is on fire for the 990. I like the New Balances, man. Some of them have some really good colorways. Of course, the quality is always good on them. You know what I mean? Don't own any myself. I don't know if I like them enough to get them myself. Maybe a couple pair out there. This color combination on the Puma suede or Puma Clyde is also dope. Got the long hair suede on there with the new buck. Two-tone colorway. So we got the Jordan Luca 2 down to 99 bucks already. That's good to see. Team.